download and install first uh, you should check on your machine that whether you have uh, installed mongodb or not so just open the command prompt and write mongo as you can see the mongo is not installed and it will pop up an error a message the mongo is not recognized as an internal or external command it means there is no mongodb installed on my machine so I'll be going to install the MongoDB. So just go to the Google and write download and MongoDB. So on the official site, you will have the option. Uh, and the second one is showing me on the Windows because I'm the Windows user. So I'll be clicking on this. All right. Just explaining me that uh, how you can download uh, this and telling me about the supported version. So let's just don't waste time and scroll down. And here it is option MongoDB Download Center. Click on that. All right, we have this option now. I'll be selecting the version. So this is the current and latest version 4.4.5 and the platform is Windows. Alright. And I'll be just clicking to the download. Not anymore or anything. Just go to this and download MSI. Package MSI. Okay. It's, my internet is quite slow. So it will be taking 4 minutes. Might be it takes lesser on your machine if you have a better internet connection. So till then I'm pausing this video, don't want to have long video, so alright, so the MSI file is downloaded, so I'll be installing this, click on that file, and a window should appear, here it is, click on the run, okay. Click next and just check this accept I the term of the license agreement and here select this complete and this is the directory data directory this is the log directory okay let's just copy this for right now and currently I don't want to drag uh, the installation uh, uh, the MongoDB compass so I'll be checking this and install. Hmm. So till then, it is getting installed. It won't take much time. All right, it's done now. Click on the finish button. And now it's time to check that your MongoDB is installed. So first, I'll just go to the command prompt and will write Mongo. And it's still saying that Mongo is not recognized. All right, but I have installed. I'll be. I'll be. I have to configure this uh, first. Right click uh, on the drive, C drive. Or usually you can uh, select any one. So create the data folder and the path which I had copied. I'm pasting. And if you didn't copy that, you'll have to. Go to the program file MongoDB server 4.4 and data. And I'll not be going to the data 4.4 and here's the bin folder. So I'll set this uh, folder to the environment variable. So let's just copy. Make sure the folder is program file MongoDB server and this is the version, it can be varied and the remaining will be same it can be varied by the version to version the other will remain same just copy and uh, 
search for environment variable edit the system environment variable click on that okay right and you will find a variable name as path edit it and paste that directory c program file mongodb and all this okay and present now come to the command prompt and uh, as we have created data uh, c colon data right. so you will have to write the command and the command is this so i'll be doing what instead of this part uh, i'll be copying this path c colon data paste okay and copy this come to the command from paste unless done okay i'm i was opening the command from again copying it actually it was opened before all the configuration now right this command uh, right we are done and now just come back to the folder which i created data as you can see these file will be shown when you run this command basically this is the direct directory where all the data uh, document data will be saved and uh, Another thing you will have to do, open another command prompt and write the command mongo and you will be connecting to the uh, mongo shell with the port 27017 this is the default port so that's all from this video I hope you like the video and this installation would be very easy for you by seeing this video uh, if it's worked for you then please do like share and subscribe the channel so see you in the next video, Allah Hafiz.